If fall is your favorite time of year, then be ready. We're going to step up this card in this video. Stay tuned. Hello, my crafty friends. Last time, if you recall, I made this card very simple, one layer with my peg stamps. And we're gonna be doing the same thing, only one step up. So let's get started. Okay, I have this piece here I'm gonna cut to make a card base. Make sure this is eight, but I want. Okay, now, now five and a half. Okay, this was just a scrap, so I will be using it. It looks like I'm going to have to trim it again. Just a little. See that edge right there? And there is our card base. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stamp it in the inside. Thinking of you. I'm going to be using this stamp for the front this time. stamp the inside of the card first that way if it doesn't turn out just the way I want it then I can just turn it over and restamp and then cover up the mistake with pattern paper or what have you in this case I don't have that I'm going to be using just the peg stamps on the front with one small layer. So there we are, perfect. Now, I happen to find this scrap, which was perfect for this stamp. So I will be doing that and then cutting it down. Very nice, very nice. And then I'm gonna mat it, of course. But I'm gonna pat it down just a little bit. I think it's pretty nice. Um, don't know if I, I can decorate this. I can stamp around it, but let's do just a little bit here. We're gonna do like an inch. There. 
think that's perfect. And then we're going to mat this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. And then attach this. And then cut it after I attach it. awesome way to use scraps and sometimes they're just the right size you need. Okay, we're going to put that on the front like so, but first I'm going to stamp my leaves again. my little pine boughs. Copper. Remember how I use these. This is the, the bottom of the stamp. So if I want to angle it, then I just kind of watch where this is. Here, let's do orange. No two cards are alike when you make them on your own. Kind of a little bit of overlap, but that's okay. Then we fill in with the smaller ones. This cherry cobbler, and we'll do yellow. Oop. It's going to be like a yellow orange, I think. Anywhere I have an open space, I can squeeze that in. There we go. Yeah, that's a little bit too too uh, orangey, isn't it? Yeah, I should have washed it off. Well, 
let's try this one. Some yellow. There we are. Beautiful. You really can't go wrong with these. They just make such a beautiful design. All right. So now we're going to, I think we're going to go ahead and stamp. Um, what should we stamp? Let's stamp a big leaf, but in this moss color. There. Beautiful. See? There's that. And there's that. I'm just going to place this here with our dimensionals. These are from Dollar Tree. Now you can also use foam tape, which is a little bit quicker. And there is our second card. This is stepped up from the first one. This is purely one layer. And this is two layers now because I made this and popped it up on foam dots, an extra layer. And I did not decorate the inside yet, so let's do that. Let's do red cherry cobbler ah. and our moss green again. that one. So here's our first card from last week and the card we just made. Stay tuned and we will step it up even further. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.